What's going on guys, Knoxville 363 This is going to be a tutorial on how to root your ZTE Warp by Boost Mobile. And the way you will know that you have done this properly is when you're finished it reboots, you scroll down and you have Super User now on your phone. Alright, so let's get straight to the tutorial. Um, you will need a program to unzip files. I always use Win rare, win rar, and I'll leave a link for that in the description below. If you do not already have that on your computer, you're also going to need the USB cable to plug your device into your computer. All right. So the first thing you want to do is go to AndroidForums.com. All right. Let me reboot this camera so I can have it zoomed in better on the computer screen. All right, now that we are on our computer, I will have the link in the description. This is the actual box here. Make sure you guys, when you register, you give him a thank you because he's the one that's responsible for all this. So what you want to do is first, you want to download the one-click root. I'm on Windows 7, so this is what pops up. Go ahead and click Save File. You're going to need that. Save that to your desktop. Other file that you're going to need is the you will need the drivers. Go ahead and click. I believe these are them. And once again, you will have another prompt. Go ahead and click save. I have already done that. So let's go ahead and check these out on your desktop and how to install the drivers for the people who don't know. Now, what you need to do is for the drivers, go ahead and the, it's called ZTE drivers double click it I'm operating off Windows go ahead and hit close on that box sorry I'm not in zoom I'm on Windows so I go ahead and double click uh, Windows now I'm not sure exactly which one it is because I already have them installed on my computer go ahead double click auto run.exe for English click yes it'll run through it or it's install or hit setup.exe, double click it, hit OK on English, and that will install the drivers. You need the drivers in order for your computer to be able to communicate with your phone so it can transfer the files during the root process. So let's run through the whole process of getting the root on your phone now. All right, so the next thing we're going to want to do is once we have all of our files and we are ready to go, go to Menu, Settings, Application, development and make sure that there's a green check mark in USB debugging okay once we have that let's go ahead and plug our phone into our computer once it's plugged in now this little USB thing you'll have this little logo up top now this menu will pop up click run auto run dot exe and once we do that, that's how you get USB debugging to get in to, to start, basically. So it, you cannot see it that good. However, right next to the USB logo, there is a miniature Android guide. And that's when you know USB debugging is activated on your phone. Without that, this will not work. So once you have that, you're good. Go ahead and put your phone off to the side. All right. Now, what... You guys are probably wondering what's next. Now what you want to do is how you get the warp drive, just the folder is you have to right click and hit extract here. Once you do that you will have the warp drive folder. Go ahead double click that. From here, sorry I'm holding onto the camera now just so you guys can see the files. And then go ahead and right click warp drive and I always hit run as administrator. Now once this is done, <clears throat> now this is when you know it is running properly. And then after a minute it'll just be doing all this kind of stuff. I don't know. So this is what you are looking for. Otherwise, you will have a bunch of failed messages. Why it says failed up top, I don't know. So far, I haven't had any problems. 
but this is how I got to um, my phone to have super user on it so maybe if I'm doing something wrong uh, inner depth who mad props to you he's the one that uploaded the original tutorial on androidforums.com and the reason why I made my own video was because his video and once it's finished it'll say uh, you should have root have a wonderful day click any button to continue go ahead click any button and now it will reboot yay so maybe if you guys if you guys are having any problems with this uh, it took me about I'd say about four times I've never done this before on any phone but I figured I would do it on this one just because my buddy he just did it to his Evo so I was like well I guess I better do it to my phone as well um, the exact positives or pros and cons of doing this are unknown um, so far I only know of pros however you guys need to be very careful with this so you don't break your phones or mess it up now if we scroll down to the S's as you can see super user right there okay so I highly recommend if you guys have any um, problems or questions or anything else like that also so if people I know someone's gonna ask this application is called uh, advanced task killer and I will be doing a short little review on that because I think a lot of you guys should have that on your phones as well but anyways I want to thank you guys for watching and I want to thank inner depth and shabby penguin and anybody else that had anything to do with this whole root process so thank you guys thank you guys for watching stay subscribed